Why do we get a fever? One gloomy morning, you wake up and find your throat itching and tickling. The sensation suddenly turns into coughing. Your body begins to ache, making you feel awful and hard to get out of your bed. You refuse to go for breakfast due to loss of appetite. Suddenly, your mom enters, examines your hot forehead and makes it official. You got the fever. And despite all the irritation, there comes a tiny weeny smile on your face as now you'll get to skip school for a day or two. Yay! But the burning question is, why do we fall sick and get a fever? Let us first know what a fever is. A fever, also known as pyrexia, is higher than normal body temperature and is a part of your body's natural response to infection. You won't believe, but fever is actually a protective response to fight against pathogens like bacteria, fungi and viruses which enter your body to infect and kill your cells. And when that happens, your body gets into action and activates the immune cells such as white blood cells that produce chemicals called pyrogens floating in the bloodstream. Pyrogens make their way to the hypothalamus in the brain which is in charge of regulating body temperature. When pyrogens bind to specific receptors in the hypothalamus, the body temperature rises. One purpose of a fever is thought to be to raise the body's temperature enough to kill off pathogens that are sensitive to temperature changes as they can't survive in the high temperature, they die and you get cured to go back to school. But if the fever stays persistent, it's always a good idea. Consult a doctor as soon as possible.